August 20th, 2008, 180 days before the end of analog television from Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Michael Phelps was not the only one setting records at the games of the 29th Olympiad. NBCU says more than 200 million viewers have watched the games through the first 11 days. That's about 83% of U.S. television households tuning in at some point. The Beijing Olympics have also been a huge win for NBC's multi-channel coverage, with online and mobile exceeding all expectations. In related news, ESPN is interested in acquiring the television rights to the 2014 and 2016 games, saying they would carry them live regardless of the time zone. They'll be up against NBCU and Fox in a bidding war, and considering NBCU's success, the numbers should be Olympic. In other news, eBay is having a serious identity crisis. They're going to lower their listing fees and raise their commissions on sales. Why? Some people in the company think the auction thing is over and the buy it now thing is the best future strategy for the company. I'm wondering why eBay wants to become a bad Amazon when they can be a great eBay. Apple says that the thermal events that iPod Nano owners are experiencing are real. They have a plan to replace smoking and sparking nanos and some of the power cords from their line of MacBook laptops. Tremor Media, a video advertising network, says 80% of its users watch pre-roll ads in full. Tremor's figures suggest that the completion rate for both 15 and 30 second spots are practically identical. While the data keeps rolling in, Tremor's stats imply that viewers have no problem watching a short ad before enjoying a bit of online video, although they don't talk about frequency, which is a big part of the story. Chris Russo, a.k.a. The Mad Dog, has reportedly signed a five-year, $15 million contract with Sirius XM Radio. Mad Dog's new talk show will be the first original show available on both Sirius and XM. Visit ShellyPalmer.com to learn more about it and for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. For Media Bites, I'm Shelly Palmer.